In some parts of San Diego, that loose change in your car won't help you out at parking meters anymore. News News Tim Blodgett took a drive downtown to speak with a local driver about the frustrations of going cashless. Parking meters in San Diego are going cashless eventually. And while that might make dollars for the city, for parkers, it doesn't make too much sense. Parking, it's a consequence of living in a city designed around the car. When you don't bike, walk, or take public transport, you're going to have to use a parking meter, and San Diego has a lot of them. The city manages approximately 5,700 metered parking spots. In the past, you just had to pop in a few quarters and go on your way. But in the 21st century, credit cards are king. It frustrates me, and I just don't think it's fair that it's on the backs of consumers and working families. Twice a day, Lauren Augustine parks and picks up her kids from school downtown. A quick trip which maybe costs her 50 cents a day. But after the pandemic, she found the slot for coins had been covered up, forcing her to use a credit card to park. So the credit card has you do a minimum one hour purchase, which is $1.25 which absolutely adds up. Instead of paying the 50 cents she was paying a day, Augustine is paying 250 for a quick pickup, which might seem like chump change. It will cost me $450 a year, a school year, to drop off and pick up. If I could put a, a quarter in, it would cost me $90 a year. Right now, San Diego has removed coin payment for 13% of meters, and they hope to continue to put more of these digital-only kiosks throughout the city. They say it streamlines the payment process and keeps more cars off the road. It limits the amount of vehicles that we have out having to collect money from these uh, meters. It's a win for our climate action plan and just, um, you know, efficient efficiency for the city at the end of the day. City spokesperson Jose Yacia also recommends people use the Park Mobile app on their phones and always read the signage to see if they can use coins at that location. They say it's not to make money, but it can't help feel like a money grab that's on the backs of the citizens because you're paying the credit card fee, which they're forcing you to pay because they will no longer take coins. Right now, most meters will still take coins, but down the line, you'll just have to keep your change in the cup holder. It's a tough spot, I think, that the parking citizens are in and not really getting a lot of help. Tim Blodgett, News 8.